it's me Beverly so for today's video I'm gonna discuss to you the Cone of Experience by Ed Cardin so without further ado let's get into the discussion Edgar Dale's Cone of Experience First, let us answer the question, who is Edgar Dale? Edgar Dale was born on April 27, 1900s in Benson, Minnesota and died on March 8, 1985. He was the father of modern media and education. He is also an American educator who developed the Cone of Experience. Then, let's proceed to the definition of the cone of experience. The cone of experience is a visual model that shows a continuum of learning, a pictorial device that presents bands of experience. It does not strictly define the bands to be mutually exclusive but allows the fluid movements across the levels. Take a look to the picture. This is the cone of experience. As we can see, there are 10 stages in the cone that were arranged according to their degree of abstractness. The peak of the cone is more abstract while the bottom is about the concrete experiences, arranged from the least to the most abstract learning resources presented in the cone of experience. So now, let's tackle the different level of it. We will start at the bottom of the cone. First is the direct and purposeful experiences. These are the first-hand experiences which serve as the foundation of learning. In this level, more senses are used to build up the knowledge. Also, in this level, the learner learns by doing things by him or herself. Learning happens through actual hands-on experiences. This level explains and proves one of the principles in the selection and use of teaching strategies. The more senses that are involved in learning, the more and the better the learning will be. Second is contrived experiences. In this level, representative models and mock-ups of reality are being used to provide an experience that are close as reality. This level is very practical and it makes learning experience more accessible to the learner. In this stage, it provides more concrete experiences even if not as concrete as direct experiences that allows visualization that foster better understanding of the concept. Third is the dramatized experiences. In this level, Learners can participate in a reconstructed experience that could give them better understanding of the event or of a concept. Through dramatized experiences, learners become more familiar with the concept as they emerge themselves to the as-if situation. It is divided into two categories, acting or actual participation and observing or watching a dramatization takes place. Fourth is the demonstration. In this level, learner can visualize explanation of important fact, idea, or process with pictures, drawings, film, and other types of media in order to facilitate clear and effective learning. Also in this level, things are shown based on how they are done. Fifth is the study trips. This level extends the learning experience through excursions and visit in the different places that are not available inside the classroom. Through this level, the learning experience will not be limited to the classroom setting but rather extended in a more complex environment. Six is the exhibits. In this level, Meanings and ideas are presented to the learners in a more abstract manner. This experience allows the student to see the meaning and relevance of things based on the different pictures and representation presented. These are displays to be seen by spectators and it also has two types, ready-made 
and homemade. 7. Our television and motion pictures. Television and motion pictures can reconstruct the reality of the past so effectively that we are made there. The unique value of the messages communicated by film and television lies in the feeling of realism, their emphasis on person and personality, their organized representation, and their ability to select, dramatize, highlight, and clarify. Eight are still pictures, recordings, record. In this level, it is very helpful to a student who cannot deal with the motion or pace of a real event or television. Also, it can often understand by those students who cannot read. These are visual and auditory devices that can be used by learner or group of learners that could enhance and extend learning experiences. Ninth, is picture or visual symbols. These are no longer realistic reproduction of physical things for these are highly abstract representations. It helps the student to see an idea, event, or process without producing the real situation. And lastly, in the top of the cone is the text or verbal symbols. They are not like the objects or ideas for which they stand. They usually do not contain clues to their meaning. Written words fall under this category. It may be a word for a concrete object, an idea, a scientific principle, or a formula. And that's the different stages of the cone of experience. Make a cup of coffee.